Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the uh, great new feature that we've added in Camera Bag 2024, our first release of this coming year that we're very excited about. Um, and what this new feature is, this is a long time requested one. Um, it's something in the adjustments tab in the masks section that we've added, which is this new painted mask. So before we've had like gradient mask where you can, you know, mask your adjustment to a gradient or a spot mask where you move a spot. The uh, painted mask, as the name suggests, allows you to paint the areas of your image that you'd like to mask to. So let's say I paint like, you know, these parts of this canyon. Um, you can see it's previewed in red here before I do any adjustments. But then if I add like an exposure adjustment and I adjust the exposure, you can see it's only applying to the masked areas. So, um, and there's also a, a, a drop down here where I can invert it so that it will apply to the, the, only to the areas that I did not paint. So whichever is easier for your situation, set it for that, inverted or normal. Um, and as with all the masks, you can add any adjustment or any group of adjustments after it. So say I want to paint both shadows and, you know, turn the exposure down and do something like, let's do something that we'll be able to see, like coloring. So maybe let's turn the shadows down and make it green or something. Now you'll notice that uh, when I've got the painted mask here, it's only adjusting the exposure because that's the only tile that's next to it and this coloring one that's turning everything green is applying to the whole image. If I want this mask to apply to both of those, then I just have to right click on these and choose Nest to create a nested node. And then the painted mask will apply to, to both of the things in that nested node. So now um, when I adjust the amount, you can see that it's making those areas darker and more green. And so if I want to paint, and see the effect while I'm painting, I can come in here to the preview color drop down in the mask and I can set it to none. And then as I paint, it will let me see the effect of what I'm painting there. And I actually think this is kind of dumb to uh, do the green and the exposure at the same time. So I'm going to remove that. Um, but anyway, there's lots of interesting effects and I'll show you some later that you can do. Uh, where you, you'll want to nest them and you can do some really neat things. Um, let me just show you, let, let's put this preview color back on red. Um, there's some, some adjustments in this painted mask that are uh, worth noting. Uh, you can control your brush with this sharpness and flow and that's just like, you know, if I have this right now and I painted like that, that was with brush flow at 20. If I turn the brush flow way up, You'll see it fills in much quicker. Um, and so that's flow and sharpness. If I turn the sharpness all the way down, uh, it has a less hard edge. If I turn the sharpness all the way up, it is uh, goes all the way out to the edge with the same intensity. So those are sharpness and flow. This extra smoothing thing is something that's applied um, to the mask after it's painted where it basically blurs the mask slightly. So you can make your mask automatically smoother after the fact by adjusting this extra smoothing. And that can very frequently be handy because, um, let me turn off the preview color here. This is set to none and there's no extra smoothing. The edges of my mask might be a little too sharp um, to, to nicely blend with what I'm trying to do. Uh, let me toggle this effect on and off so you can see. So anyway, that extra smoothing is is often extra handy. Um, okay, so I think I've covered each of those those um, settings in the painted mask. Uh, and like I say, you know, you, you can set any adjustment there. I could set a gamma curve and it would only apply the gamma curve to that, or I can set saturation. And obviously as with, you know, any other um, thing in camera bag, let me take it back to exposure. Um, I can have multiple masks. So I can put another mask down if I want to paint something else, like maybe I want to paint highlights. So I'll put an exposure and turn it up and you're seeing nothing happen because the exposure is uh, being applied to this mask where there's nothing painted. 
I'll turn the preview color to off and start painting and you can see it's lightening the areas where I'm painting. So, uh, and then maybe I want to add some smoothing to that or something to make sure it's nice. But anyway, uh, you can do really an unlimited number of things. Uh, one of the really nice things with this masking stuff is setting up presets to, to paint certain effects that you'd want to use over and over again. So uh, basically what I just made, um, I have saved as a pre preset, which is paint shadows and highlights, which loads this painted mask, which is empty. And of note, when you, when you save a filter with these masks, it does not save the, the mask that you've painted, it just saves the node. So when you reload it, it will always be empty. Um, so just keep that in mind. But um, I've got this preset set up so that if I paint using uh, this one will be shadows and this one will be highlights. And another note, um, you can see from the info up here to change the brush radius, you scroll while holding command or control if you're on, um, on PC. And you can hold shift to erase or alt to enable panning the image while you're in this tool. So anyway, um, I've loaded this preset. I can paint shadows in here and I can come on this one and paint highlights and it's all set up just with the exact kind of smoothing and brush effects that I want for this and then I can use that on all of my uh, images really easily. Let me show you a couple of other fun ones that, um, that I've come up with and we'll probably make a whole set of these to include in a future version of Camera Bag but for now you can just do your own ones. So let's put on this Paint Autumn Leaves one I'll go into my file browser and pull up this photo that has autumn leaves. And uh, what's in this nested tile is an increase in saturation and then some coloring to make things a little bit more orange. And so I just go to my painted mask and I start painting on here. You can see it's basically drawing out the oranges in those leaves and making them more vibrant. And now I will turn toggle that off and on so you can see the, the effect. And if I um, didn't have the mask, then it would just turn everything orange. But with the mask, I can just paint it where I want to highlight those orange leaves. So you can see how quickly you can just enhance any of your autumn uh, foliage photos with a preset like that. Um, another fun one is Paint Skin Glow. So let's go. I found this guy uh, that I thought was pretty cool, dude. Um, and this one also shows something interesting, which is that this one has a painted mask and I'll paint it and you'll see it like makes his skin more glowy. Add some highlights. Um, I can add an extra smoothing if I feel like it's too much or I can turn down the effect if it's too strong. But one of the interesting things of this one is that this mask combines with a hue mask where I've selected skin tone colors. And so where I paint this, like if I paint it where there's not skin tone colors, it doesn't really do anything because the hue mask is saying, all right, take whatever's in that painted mask, which is basically this, that's what I painted, um, and then mask it again for, so that it only applies to pixels in these sort of skin tone hue ranges. And then it will apply this effect. So uh, again, just a billion different cool things that you can make um, to save and reuse in your presets uh, that will let you just, you know, instantly load a photo and, and apply your favorite effects, but only to certain areas. And it's a really neat, really powerful tool. And we think that you'll love it. We're excited to see what you make with it. So uh, go download the update. Um, as always, if your, if your update, your free year of updates has expired, you can um, upgrade your license at a reduced price on our website and get another year of upgrades. Um, you pay once and then you get all the updates for the next year uh, for free. So go to neversender.com slash camera bag and get this update and check it out and let us know what you think. Thanks.